Hello everyone, welcome back to my workshop here. Um, if you've watched my last um, car boot sale video, you will remember that last week um, I picked up this very nice contemporary um, footprint pipe wrench here. Very nice indeed. Um, I do actually have a growing collection of footprint um, pipe wrenches as you can see here from this little small one, I think it's five and a half inches I believe, right up to a 12 inch one at the end here. And I have two nine inch wrenches already. And they are of the older style wrench. Uh, this is the more contemporary one. You can actually go into uh, different stores like Screwfix or whatever, Amazon, and pick these things up, just like this one here, right at the moment. They're still being made in England. Uh, by footprint they're made in Sheffield which is a uh, really really good actually to think that there's a British company still out there still making British tools really nice anyway um, when I've got this one as you can see it's got a, a bolt through here and of all things a nylock nut on this side um, why would anybody do that I don't know because it makes it really difficult to uh, alter the settings. Now whether somebody just used it like this all the time I have no idea and I shall never know but it requires two spanners to actually adjust this thing. Um, the way I would have gone about it is put just an ordinary bolt through it like this one here thereby making it much easier to adjust because you simply take the, uh, the bolt out like so, move it along to the next hole, reinsert the bolt, screw it in. And away we go. However, I prefer my tools to be er as original as possible. So something like this, it, for me, is simply not good enough. So um, what I did was I uh, went along to Footprint Tools website uh, and thence to their Instagram um, page and contacted them via there and asked them where I could get a proper pivot pin from or failing that, what size um, thread it is in there. Uh, I left it at that uh, and within a day or so I was contacted by uh, my contact at um, Footprint Tools saying that he would be kind enough to send me out another pivot pin if I uh, provided him with my address. Well that was an excellent result I thought and he also said he was going to send me something a bit special along with the pivot pin so uh, yesterday, which was Saturday, look what came through the post, my new pivot pin for the wrench. And not only did I get a new pivot pin, I also got this little fellow, this teeny tiny little wrench as well. Look at that. This is awesome, this little thing. Let's take a look at it. This little thing measures in at four inches, making it the uh, smallest footprint wrench in my collection. It is also fully functional too. It has a teeny tiny little um, pivot pin in here. Look at that. Let's compare it with the one from the 9 inch. <laughs> oh brilliant. Um, the hook has, as you can see, three adjustment holes in here as opposed to the four you get in a standard hook and it goes together and functions just like its larger brothers. Fantastic. It's a little bit small for my big fat hands here, but um, tell you what, let's give it a go, see if it actually works. Right, and here I have an M5 nut and bolt, nice and loose as you can see. Let's get the, uh, the baby footprints here. Get them on there. Now I've found, because this is so small, I do actually have a bit of a job holding it, keeping hold of it in my great big hands here. But we'll give it a go, as you can see it's loose. Yep. Got a uh, yeah, decent grip on it. it all, even so, you can see it's marked me hand a little bit there, hopefully guys. But uh, yeah, it is definitely tight. It's not going anywhere now. There we are. Nice. Still, they do actually work then. So now I can uh, dispose of this quite well worn uh, nut and bolt here. Chuck those away. And we can insert this very nice and proper 
pivot pin into the wrench like so and there we go look at that guys back to how it was when it came uh, out of the uh, shop whoever bought it we'll never know who bought it or what they used it for but um yeah let's look at that fantastic okay then so i would like to thank uh, footprint tools for sending in the uh, new pivot pin for my uh, nine inch wrench here thank you very much guys most appreciated thank you very much indeed uh, and a special thanks for sending this little fella in as well for part as part of my collection absolutely wonderful little thing this is it's the uh, smallest footprint wrench in my collection now uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a, uh, a complete review of the um, footprint wrench giving you a little bit of its history showing you all the uh, wrenches that I actually have in my collection now every time I go to the uh, boot sale I still look out for these things uh, I've got three nine inch wrenches now and some sh smaller ones this little fella here as well and I've got a large 12 inch uh, wrench too but as I say I still look out for these things because I still like them um, I was I first came across one about 40 odd years ago in my first job um, some of the guys there had them apparently they're very popular with companies who like them because of their uh, reliability uh, and the way they work so um, yeah uh, I don't know why I've not had one of these in my collection in 40 years it's only this year that I've started to pick them up which is a bit strange really but um, that's just how things go I suppose okay then everyone hope you enjoyed this little uh, review here of the new pivot pin and these teeny tiny little uh, footprint wrench here I like that I like that a lot actually very nice okay then guys keep an eye out for my uh, full review of uh, these things we're coming out at some point in the very near future um, I hope you enjoyed this look thank you very much to footprint tools for supplying the new pivot pin fantastic and I'll catch you all in the very near future then. Thanks for watching everyone.